Hi friends, welcome back on our YouTube channel. This is the next topic of optics in which today we will discuss about Hygen's IPs. Now, before moving to Hygen's IPs, what is IPs? The images obtained from microscope and telescope are not free from optical defects like chromatic aberration and spherical aberrations. Now what is chromatic aberration and what do you mean by spherical aberration? These whole thing we have discussed in our earlier lectures. We required an instrument which produce minimum aberrated image of an object and eyepiece is the best for it. The eyepiece is a magnifier which is formed by the coaxial system of lenses and are used to see the minimum aberrated image formed by the objective of optical instrument. Now types of eyepiece In our syllabus, there are two types of IPs. First one is Hygiene's IPs and another one Ramston IPs. So here we will discuss Hygiene's IPs. Now Hygiene's IPs, this is the ray diagram of Hygiene's IPs. Here we have a field lens. This is eye lens. So L1 is field lens and L2 is eye lens. It consists of two plano convex lens, field lens that is L1 and eye lens that is L2. Both are made of same material. Convex sides of lens facing the incident light. Let the focal length of field lens is f1 and the focal length of eye lens is f2. So the ratio of focal length of field lens and eye lens are 3 to 1. Let f1 equal to 3f that is focal length of field lens is 3f and the focal length of eye lens that is f2 equal to f. And both lenses are placed at a distance of 2f. Let the object is very far from L1. So the rays obtained from it will be parallel. So object is very far from L1. So the rays coming from the object will be parallel. And after reflection from L1, we get the image PQ at focal plane of this lens. Since object is very far from the field lens, so the rays coming from object will be parallel and after reflection from L1, it forms the image at focal plane and focal plane of field lens is here. So the image of object due to L1 will be PQ. Now this was our diagram. Now we adjust lens L1 so that the image PQ will be shifted to P dash Q dash and P dash Q dash is the focal plane of L2. Now actually we get the image of object at PQ which is the focal plane of L1. Now we adjust L1 so that the image PQ shifted to P dash Q dash and P dash Q dash is actually the focal plane of L2. So the image of object will be shifted to the focal plane of L2. P dash Q dash works as object for L2 and forms final image at infinity. Since P dash Q dash is the focal plane of L2 and image of object lies at P dash Q dash 
it means at the focal plane of eye lens and this image works as an object for eye lens and hence the final image will be formed at infinity now condition for achromatism d equal to f1 plus f2 by 2 since f1 equal to 3f f2 equal to f so d equal to 3f plus f upon 2 that is 2f so f1 equal to 3f f2 equal to f so d equal to 2f and the distance between field lens and eye lens is 2f it means the image will be free from chromatic aberration this eyepiece is free from chromatic aberration because the distance between two lenses is 2f and the condition for achromatism in this condition is d equal to 2f and hence the eyepiece is free from chromatic aberration now condition for minimum spherical aberration condition for minimum spherical aberration is d equal to f1 minus f2 f1 equal to 3f f2 equal to f so d equal to 3f minus f that is 2f since the distance between two lenses is 2f so this eyepiece is free from spherical aberration so hygiene's eyepiece is free from spherical aberration as well as it is free from chromatic aberration now action or image formation the eyepiece adjusted for normal vision forms the final image at infinity so the image pedascules formed by l1 should lie at a distance f to the left of l2 or at a distance f to the right of l1 now for l1 pq formed by the objective of the instrument works as object so the image of object is at focal plane of l1 so v equal to f and the focal length of l1 is 3f so f equal to 3f now from length formula 1 upon v minus 1 upon u equal to 1 by f since v equal to f and f equal to 3f so 1 upon f minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by 3f and hence 1 by u equal to 1 by f minus 1 by 3f now if we take 3f lcm then 1 by u equal to 3 minus 1 upon 3f that is 2 by 3f so 1 by u equal to 2 by 3f or u equal to 3f by 2 so the position of object will be 3f by 2 thus image pq of objective serves as object for l1 and forms image pedascules by it this pedascules works as object for l2 and forms final image at infinity now position of cross wire to make measurements with this eyepiece the cross wires can't be used so in this case there is no possibility for using cross wire but if measurements are essential then what will be the position of cross wire if measurements of the final image is required then the cross wire must be placed at the position of pedas cudes the cross wire is magnified only by l2 that is by i lens an object is magnified by both the lenses that is by i lens as well as by field lens thus 
the magnification of the object and the cross wire should not be the same. Now, equivalent focal length. If two lenses are placed at a distance of D and the focal length of that lenses are F1 and F2, then the equivalent focal length is given by 1 by F equal to 1 by F1 plus 1 by F2 minus D upon F1 F2. And by following this, we get F equal to F1 F2 upon F1 plus F2 minus D. F1 equal to 3F, F2 equal to F and D equal to 2F. So F equal to 3F into F divided by 3F plus F minus 2F. So this will be 4F minus 2F that is 2F. So 3F square upon 2F or this will be 3 by 2 f. So equivalent focal length of Huygens eyepiece will be 3 by 2 f. Here f is the focal length of eye lens. Now position of cardinal points. So first of all principal points and there are two principal points first principal point and second principal point. So first of all, first principal point and the position of first principal point is represented by alpha 1. So alpha 1 equal to Fd by F2. Since F1 equal to 3F, F2 equal to F, D equal to 2F and capital F equal to 3 by 2F. So if we substitute the value of F, D and F2, then alpha 1 equal to 3 by 2 F into 2 F upon F. So F and F will be cancelled out. 2 and 2 will be cancelled. So alpha 1 equal to 3 F. So this is the position of first principal point. Now second principal point, alpha 2 equal to minus F D upon F1. So F equal to 3 by 2 F, D equal to 2 F and F1 equal to 3 F. So alpha 2 equal to minus 3 by 2 F into 2 F upon 3 F. So F and F will be cancelled out and 2 and 2 will be cancelled out. Also 3 and 3 will be cancelled. So alpha 2 equal to minus F. So this will be the position of second principal point. Now, first principal point that is H1 will lie to the right of L1 at a distance of 3F because alpha 1 equal to 3F and it is the positive value. So H1 that is first principal point will lie to the right of L1 at a distance of 3F and alpha 2 equal to minus F since this value is negative. So H2 will lie to the left of L2 at a distance of F. So second principal point that is H2 will lie to the left of L2 at a distance of F. Now focal points. First focal point beta 1 equal to minus F and in bracket 1 minus D upon F2. Capital F is 3 by 2 F, D equal to 2 F and F2 equal to F. So beta 1 equal to minus 3 by 2 F and in bracket 1 minus 2 F upon F. And by solving this one, beta 1 equal to 3 by 2 F. Now second focal point that is beta 2. Beta 2 equal to F into 1 minus D upon F1. F1 is 3 F. D equal to 2F and capital F equal to 3 by 2F. So beta 2 equal to 3 by 2F and in bracket 1 minus 2F upon 3F. So F and F will be cancelled out and 1 minus 2 by 3 is 1 by 3. So 3 and 1 by 3 will be cancelled out. So beta 2 equal to F by 2. So this will be the position of second focal point. Now it is clear from 
this equation that first and second focal points f1 and f2 will lie to the right of l1 and l2 at a distance of 3f by 2 and f by 2 respectively. So capital F1 that is first focal point lie to the right of L1 at a distance 3 by 2 F and second focal point that is capital F2 will lie to the right of L2 at a distance of F by 2. Now nodal points. Since there are same medium in object and image space of the system, so the nodal points coincides with their principal points. So N1 and H1 will coincide and N2 and H2 will coincide. So nodal points will coincide to the principal points. Now this is our equivalent diagram. Now this is the position of equivalent lens. Second focal point lies to the right of L2 at a distance f by 2. F1 lies to the right of L1 at a distance of 3f by 2. L1 and L2 are at a distance of 2f. H1 means first principal point lies to the right of L1 at a distance of 3f whereas H2 lies to the left of L2 at a distance of f. So this will be our equivalent diagram of Eigen's eyepiece. Now here we end our session. In the current session, we have discussed about hygiene IPs. So, goodbye.